Life is a winding road. Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a week in the life as a substitute teacher. Today is Tuesday, September 19th. And for this week, I'm gonna be going to a different grade level. So I couldn't do this yesterday because I had a doctor's appointment so I couldn't make it like a full Monday through Friday week. But my plan is to only substitute four days a week anyways. So this is technically what I'll be doing, just four days. So for today, I'm gonna be going to an elementary school. I don't know what grade level it is. I don't even know if it's like a regular teacher or not because it just said resource teacher in class. That's it. So I don't know if that means like they're a co-teacher for a resource class or if they're a resource teacher so they're like like in the guidance office or like something or in the off the main office. I'm not sure. I'm really hoping that it's like a co-teacher position and that's why it said like in class but we'll see. This elementary school is actually like across town. So it's 7.37 right now. So I literally have 10 minutes to just drink my coffee as fast as I can. And then I just have to get dressed and put my makeup on really fast. So it shouldn't take me long. All right, here is my outfit for today. Feeling very fall. I love this shirt. And then just my flats. But we're running late, so we gotta go. We miss you. I miss you too. You gonna go to school? Okay, come on, we're gonna go to school. All right, we are here. School is literally back there. I love when schools have parking space, like right in the front of the building, and then I can clearly see the entrance, and it's not like a long walk to the entrance, so that way I'm not like walking for 10 minutes before I get in the building. I guess I'm here super early because there's not really that many cars in the parking lot. It's currently 8.27. My report time is 8.50, but I want to be inside the building 15 minutes before, so 8.35. I'll just hang out for a few minutes. All right, you guys, so I can finally give you an update. So I had to take off that sticker. So it is currently 11.50. So the way that this elementary school is set up, it has, there's one teacher for English and social studies, and then there's another teacher for math and science, and then the teachers switch students. So what I'm doing is I'm the in-class resource teacher. So when he put it in to have to get a sub, it said resource program in class. So like the jumbling of the words messed me up, but now I understand it's an in-class research teacher. So I'm looking over all of the kids, but I guess he has specific students that he looks over in both of the classes. So that's why it's called an in-class resource teacher. So I'm currently in his classroom because during a block period of what he does, he takes those students and he brings them into this classroom and then he does one-on-one -on -one work with them. Apparently, because it's the beginning of the school year, he hasn't gotten to that part yet. So he hasn't done that yet. So I've just been staying in the classroom and basically just watching over all the students, helping the teachers out, making sure that the kids stay on task, now it's a two hour break so they actually go to their specials class i think our class today went to gym and then they come back to their classroom they swap classes and then they go to lunch so basically me, me as his sub i get two hours and 10 minutes of basically prep and lunch back to back and then at the end of the day it's the same thing it's the two hours again for the uh, the next two subjects and then i just switch back between the teachers so i'll spend half the time with the one teacher and half the time with the other definitely a whole different vibe and like experience than the high school because the high school students like as soon as the bell rings like you get to work here it's like the kids come in they can eat their breakfast it's definitely more of a slower pace definitely different but my experience so far has been great the teachers have been awesome they've been so nice and the one teacher had told me like oh don't forget he has a classroom that he can go in if you want to hide and i was like oh my gosh thank you yes because <laughs> i don't want to eat in another teacher's classroom like when she's there you know when they're there like looking at looking at me so at least now i'm in the classroom by myself and then i just have to meet them at 12 10 it's so far so good oh i forgot to mention i'm doing fourth grade today the kids are so cute <laughs> i only have a couple minutes but i'm gonna just start filling this out here is an example of some sub plans for an icr teacher i love that everything was time stamped it made it super easy to understand and but yeah no i love this Ooh, all right you guys the day is done well i don't even know what time is it so i got done 25 minutes earlier which is great honestly i need a coffee my back hurts i just have to get used to standing up for long periods of time usually when i'm doing like my projects and stuff like i'm constant like moving standing still or like walking back and forth like in a circle almost my back is killing me so um but overall great day um they actually wanted me to come back tomorrow because the teacher's gonna be out again tomorrow and the teacher requested for me to come back and i was like oh i'll try i mean if i see it pop up then i was gonna click on it 
but he must have put it up while class was in session and somebody else already took it so yeah they wanted me to come back so hopefully you know that leaves like a good rapport with the teacher that i actually covered so that's day one so tomorrow will be my half a day and my half a day will be at a middle school and it's for esl so english as a second language so i'll touch base with you guys again tomorrow and we'll see what grade we get good morning guys it's the next day so i already got dressed it's 10 33 i have to report to the class at 11 35 so because i'm doing a half a day pm i'm not going to go too early i want to get there with like seven eight minutes ish to spare so it gives me time to sign in and then get to the room um i did just get done making more copies of my while you were away sheet we'll be taking my laptop again today today will be my first time in middle school it says i should be there until 305 but yesterday it said i should have been at the school until 350 and they dismissed everyone at 215 i don't know if that's the same thing i get dismissed a half an hour earlier than expected and then here is my outfit just wearing the cardigan that i got at the thrift store uh, plain black tank top and then these pants that I have been loving wearing <laughs> the school isn't too far away from me so I don't really have to leave that much earlier all right so I'm in the parking lot of the school and it just never fails I still get severe nerves when I'm about to walk into the building especially because it's my first time coming to the school but I don't know what grade I am I just know the type of teacher I'm covering for and she's an, Eng an ESL teacher English as a second language I used to take that in elementary school so let's go inside and find out <laughs> All right guys, so I wanted to give you guys an update. So the entire class is full and it's for an entire period. So it's not me pulling students out. Like this is a specific class that kids go to. I already had my first class, which was fifth period, but now it's sixth period and this is her lunch period. And then seventh and eighth is back to back classes and then it's dismissal. Um, She left what they needed to do on the board, which was just go on their Google classroom. She left some games for them to play. The last class wasn't bad. In the beginning of the class, I did tell them my expectations for the day. Like I just told them, go on Google classroom, just play the games. If you wanna sit with your friends you can sit with your friends oh just keep the voices down and that's what i said but i should have added which i'm gonna add for my next class which is no music like don't <laughs> start playing music on your phones or on the computers or whatever so i'm gonna say that to the next class so that way they know because they just started randomly playing music and then everybody was like singing and like hyping each other up and it was just getting too loud so i was like oh no lower the volume please no music and i had to tell them a couple of times now for the next one they'll know like okay no music and i actually got to meet the teacher she was still here so i talked to her for a little bit and what she what her expectations were from them oh and this is the classroom <laughs> I give freedom to give you guys like a little tour. I just want to make sure that I'm not sharing the actual school that I'm at, but this is what the classroom looks like. That was eighth graders, and I'm also going to get another set of eighth graders, and then last period of the day is seventh graders. So all the kids just got dismissed to their buses. Finished just kind of like cleaning up the teacher's classroom, just going to put a couple stuff back on her desk, and then I filled out my little while you were away sheet and I'm gonna leave that for her. Today was my first day being alone in the class because the other time when I was the teacher, I had a co-teacher and then I was the co-teacher the last two times. So yeah, today was my first day, it went, it went really good. This class was so much fun, they all speak Spanish. So I was able to talk to them and like communicate with them. I did tell them though, I was like, I can speak Spanish, but I can understand it better than I can speak it. So I might talk back to you in Spanglish, but we'll make it work. They were so nice, they were very well behaved, which was, great and but overall it was a really good day so i'm gonna finish doing this and then i'm gonna go home and use the bathroom because i have to pee so bad all right you guys we're in the car and we're running late i woke up set my alarm at six because i didn't have to report until 805 whatever reason today everything was just like taking forever um the kids had to take a shower in the morning getting them dressed and then making melina's food and then making sure that i actually eat because i don't know when this lunch break is gonna be and Last thing I'm gonna do is just like have myself sitting there starving because I already have a headache. I have a headache right in here. It's bugging the crap out of me. And I'm like, no, and I didn't bring any Tylenol. That's another thing I have to add to my bag is to bring just a little like over-the-counter medicine thing like with tunnels aspirin whatever like just in case i do get a headache now i just have to deal with it um so now i'm running late i'm not late per se as like i'm gonna get to the school past my time i'm gonna get to the school later than i would like because it's my first time going to the school 
I wanted to get there at least 15 minutes early because I have yet to do a morning shift by myself that involves like taking attendance, submitting attendance and stuff like that. So I don't, I don't know, I don't know. And it just so happens to be the middle school that I went to. So I am familiar with the school, so that's good. But yeah, I still wanted to give myself more time. All right, you guys, so I can finally give you an update. So it is 11 o'clock now. I've been here since 8.05, currently fourth period. And I have fourth and fifth period off. Fourth period is her prep, fifth period is her lunch. But the teacher is actually here. When I walked in, the teacher was here and she is in the building. She's just assisting and helping other teachers with another like a math program popped in and out like maybe just one or two times nothing crazy i've had two classes and because this is mass the classes are like an hour and a half long each so yeah that stretch has been like and this migraine of mine is not going away i need caffeine i drank my coffee this morning but i had a decaf big mistake i should have just done it caffeine because i feel like i'm falling asleep i am doing eighth grade so this is eighth grade algebra they have the assignment on the board she left the assignment on the board Again, every time that they walked in, I gave them the expectations and what they do. They have been very, very chatty. I've had to tell them to lower their voices a bunch of times. Yeah, very chatty, very like noisy and not doing the work. So I've resorted to telling them that the teacher is grading this. I don't know if she is or not. I'm going to assume yes, because with the fact that the periods are so long, even if they do do it, they finish it in like 40, 45 minutes, and then they still have a whole other 45 minutes to go. It's been interesting so far. It sucks that I'm not like feeling too well like because of this headache but there really was no sub plans or anything it was just the instructions on the board um i did the same thing took attendance passed out a sheet and i've had a little bit of nostalgia because i did see my seventh grade math teacher and she's like right next door and i was like 15 years ago so i'm gonna enjoy my lunch and i'm gonna try to close my eyes for a little bit to see if that helps i tell you guys i am struggling right now with this migraine i've had it all day driving me nuts and this is one of those schools that i had to park so far away overall it was a good day and i think i was feeling a lot better and i didn't have this headache it would have been a lot better i mean the kids were super chatty and noisy but they weren't like being disrespectful they weren't doing anything like that so it's you know noise i can deal with as long as it's at a minimum so now i am gonna go to acme to go get some cupcakes and some snacks to make some goodie bags for my son's birthday on saturday i want to take some cupcakes to his school tomorrow so he can celebrate it with his friends tomorrow i will be back at an elementary school don't know what grade yet but i'll let you guys know once i know good morning guys i almost forgot to show you guys my outfit for today <laughs> malena is bugging baby i'm not gonna leave without you say cheese look how cute Cheese! Look at her new little butterfly vans. So cute. We're twinning today. Since I'm going to elementary school, one thing I noticed that the elementary teachers dress more fun. Like they dress more like, I don't know, like more girly, more fun. Middle school and high school teachers dress like more professional. So I figured I would just go fun today and wear a dress. Okay, I'll kiss it. Mwah. Wear a maxi dress with my jean jacket that I got from Old Navy. And then I'm trying to still make my hair survive. As you've noticed, I've had my hair curled all week. Here is starting to get really oily and I don't have dry shampoo. So I decided to do this. We need to head out the door. It's 8.13. So like I mentioned, elementary school is a lot more slower in the beginning. So even if I do get there five minutes before like it's okay because the students technically don't even start showing up in the classroom for like another 15 minutes after that yes okay come on we're gonna go to school <laughs> i made it to the school i have seven miles until my gas tank is empty so i chose to just come here first and then just hope that i can find a gas station nearby i've never been to the school so hopefully i can get to the class before 8:50. all right you guys i kind of have you guys hidden like in a little corner you might hear the ac it might actually be louder than me and if it is i'm sorry i will eventually get a little mic I promise. It is currently lunchtime. I have break until 12.10. I don't think that there's like a prep period or anything. She didn't really say that. So I guess it's just lunch. And then while they go to lunch and recess, I don't even know what time it is, to be honest. So one thing that is standing out to me that I didn't experience anywhere else that I'm experiencing here is... Okay, I'm not gonna cry. Okay, so um, before I get into that, I am in a first grade class because they're so cute and so tiny. So the one thing that I'm experiencing here that I didn't experience in other class is that there is a uh, children of special needs in this class so there is actually two co-teachers and then I'm subbing in for the teacher but the teacher is in the building she's just doing something else so the co-teacher is taking charge but she normally is the the teacher that specifically helps the children with special needs so I've just kind of been like helping out a little bit just to get the kids to just stay in their seat and to follow instruction I don't know why it's it's kind of sort of like a little 
trigger for me emotionally because as many of you guys know my daughter Araya passed away a few days after she was born um and they had told us that if if she was to survive the infection the brain bleed and everything that she had going against her if she was to survive it then she would have been a child with special needs for the rest of her life she would have been wheelchair bound uh we would have had to feed her this is everything that they just that they told us um about her so i guess maybe because the kids are still so little because it didn't really like trigger me in high school when i seen you know children with special needs it didn't really trigger me or in middle school but i guess because these kids are so little it's like just hitting me a little bit just hitting me a little bit harder um okay <laughs> This is not how I expected my last day of the week to go. The class has been great. I've kind of just been a helping hand. I took over like a small group and we were kind of like rotating. Everybody was rotating in their small group. I was just in charge of like four or five kids at a time working on a little math project. It's been great. These kids are so sweet and I'm only halfway through the day, but I think it's safe to say I don't think I could do small elementary. I'm going to eat and stop crying and wipe my face. Enjoy the last three hours of my shift. All right, you guys, the day is done. I'm heading to my car. Yeah, first grade is definitely a lot different. The kids needs to be watched and like instructed a lot more, obviously because they're little. Just to dismissal at the end of the day takes about an hour. I guess because they're the last bunch to get the buses. The buses show up so late. So it's like a whole different experience than in high school or middle school when they're just like, all right, buses. And then everybody leaves. Car riders, everybody leaves. Like, no, this is like one by one. Would I do first grade or kindergarten again? Probably not. Um, It's a little bit of more like slower pace for me, even though when I do middle school, like I'm not doing anything versus today. I feel like the day went by really, really fast because there was just constantly something to do. It definitely kept me busy. And the kids are great. The kids are, they, they were so cute. Like, I don't mind doing it once in a while just to kind of like change it up. And the teachers were super nice. So that was a week in life. Besides my little crying session earlier, we're okay. On Tuesday, as you guys seen, I did fourth grade, Wednesday, seventh grade, seventh and eighth grade, Thursday, eighth grade, and today, first grade. What's the grade that I preferred the most this week? I don't know. I think it was... I think it was the seventh graders. The seventh graders from the ESL class on Wednesday. I think that class I really enjoyed because I could speak Spanish to them. Like the kids liked me and they were really nice. They were really respectful. Like I think that day was like pretty chill. That was also a half a day. So I don't know if that had anything to do with it. Would I do middle school again? Yes. Would I do elementary school again? Yes. Cause I really liked the fourth graders from the other day. So maybe stick with elementary, but like, like just like the higher up elementary. Overall, I think it was a great week, a great successful first week. Now I'm going to go pick up my daughter and go pick up my son and enjoy this weekend and, and celebrate Ezzy's birthday with him so i hope you enjoyed this video and coming along with me as always i appreciate all your love and support and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys